uh, post stream Serenith here. We actually got two recce's today, and the first one had a more fun pop off. So I'll post that first, like the pop off part, and then we'll start the second run. Uh, and the slight content warning, uh, there's a lot of Marlboro puns, uh, and I don't really know what's the, that's the thing right now, but just go on with it. Thanks for watching. Welcome to the science of Dishonored. Oh, I really need to find that fast. S***ing climbing. World record by f***ing... I got it, chat. I did it. And we get bald Corvo on top. Let's f***ing go. Bald Corvo. No, Megan, stop chasing me. Not Megan, the bitch. Bald Corvo! Let's go! Let's go, the real villain of the series all along! Bald Corvo! Let's fucking go! 23.5? Damn, son! You're so tall, bro. Why are you so short, bro? Imagine, imagine, uh, Fermi questions are the type of question which you approximate the answer and probably on 10. How many times does average person heartbeat in a lifetime? Oh, I see. Okay. I get that. Okay. 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 I get what you mean. I thought, I thought it was a Fermi paradox meme. See, I watch a lot of random math videos on YouTube. And then some of it sticks in my head, and most of it doesn't. Um, <laughs> like, I love shit like Number File and a lot of other stuff. It's just good content in the background, right? And then some of it sticks in your head, and then most of it doesn't. Number File is fucking great. Yeah, I, I really like uh, just so cozy, you know, background stuff. It's like watching uh, the Sudoku channel. Uh, what's that guy? Who, 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 there's the two two guys. I only watch the other guy's videos, even though he's partially bald. Uh, you, you, you know the fucking guy. For fuck's sake. Sudoku bald. Uh. So, uh yeah, crack, cracking, cracking the cryptic. See, I googled Sudoku bald on YouTube. Cracking the cryptic. He's not even bald. Sorry. My bad. Did did Walrus add a bald command? I can't believe it. He ripped that out from me. I'm going to sue his... He, he lives in the same city as me. Right? You know that. I could go to his door and tell him that he owns me a Marlboro Red for that. Pay up, pay up, pay up. I put a fucking brick in your face. I put a baldness in your face. 98%. We haven't not had a single 100% yet, yet, by the way. Or a 0%. I can shave him bald. Not bad, dude. Dude, okay. I, I mean, I obviously wouldn't do this, but imagine a real-life challenge where we would do an IRL stream and we would ro both roll baldness and whichever loses, the other person cuts their hair. That's that's a fucking 50-50 I don't want to do. That's that's a 50-50 I'm not willing to do. If my grandmother had wheels, she that's would bad. No, there's no fucking way. There is no. Not not even in my wildest fucking dreams, bro. Oh, that's That's a fucking good idea for an April Fool's video chat. I shouldn't have said it. That's fucking great. That would be so good. Pre-recorded video on stream. Where, we, where you would pretend that it's live. And then, you know. You would buy a, like a bald cap or something. The best part is after that one of you roll 99. That is not 50-50. That is true. 50-50 is... I mean, but I, I, I haven't really, gra I haven't done any, I haven't graduated after high school, right? Like I haven't gotten a diploma. So every math problem where there's like two outcomes is 50-50 for me. <laughs> Either you get it or you fucking don't, mate. It's like, it's why complicated. That's real life. 
I know once you, you know, start go to the universities and stuff, you know, it gets a bit more complicated statistics. But like, you know, it's it's easy to understand that either you get it or you don't. Not a big deal, buddy. So what do you mean a 3% chance? No, it's not a 50% bitch. That's why I like Duke. He's 50. He's an actual 50% chance. So user who used or created bone charms in Dishonored, they scattered everywhere with no one seemingly using them. Outsider, so right? Have to go foot, man. Right? I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm quite I'm I'm asking chat because I don't fuck. I have two point seven thousand hours in this and like seven I have like three point five almost four thousand hours in these different games. I don't know. Cultists and people from the previous civilization. Okay, fair enough. Cults for the outsider? I guess. Do, 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 do. No, he doesn't mean casual play. He, 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 you silly goose. It's like that with every game, though. It's like, why is there a pot of fucking gold in the middle of the street? Lara Croft. I was playing the latest Lara Croft game. Uh, the latest Tomb Raider game, sorry. Rise of Tomb Raider. And it's like, oh my god. Three meters of the road. There is a fucking insane chest full of the best things ever. Jeez. Why has nobody looted this? It's like uh, a bit of a... What's it called? Suspension of disbelief, right? Sometimes it's easy to do and sometimes it's fucking hard to do. Holy. I'm really good at the usually... I don't really get it mixed. If my grandmother had wheels, she like, would have been objective. I can separate the reality of the game from the gameplay aspects. So it doesn't really like bother me in the story. Like it doesn't really affect the story if the gameplay is doing something very fucking different. For some people, it's not as easy because they get really deep into the game as well. And it's like, uh, it's ripping them off of it. It's kind of like, um, you mur let's say you murder. Yeah, it was law wise question. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you murder like, all the, let's say you murdered fucking everybody in a game, right? And then you go and return the mission and they tell you, Hey, that was a good job. Uh, it's nice that you didn't go fully rampage because there's only one fucking dialogue option. There isn't, they didn't do anything else. And you're like, wait, what the fuck? It's like in Deus Ex, you can kill a fucking department full of cops, right? And then you can go back there afterwards and they're like, Oh man, there was a dude who just like, you know... We just chased you out of this fucking building because you were killing my brethren. But, uh, cool. Come and help us now. It's like, it's like what the fuck's happening? What the fuck is happening? It's, uh, you know, it, that, that, that is rather funny. But again, in, in, you know, in immersive sim games and stuff, you, you can't, every single thing can't be appointed for, right? Several points in Horizon Zero Dawn have been a little too on the nose. I know what you mean. Uh, Forbidden West sadly isn't much better. And it's, again, it's just, uh, it's just the way the game is structured. You don't really have a choice because otherwise it would have been so much work to do all the, you know, all the outcomes. That's why I kind of like the chaos system. You know, I don't really give this games a lot of rep, but the chaos system is pretty good, right? Because if you think about it, at least you have a system that is technically tracking what you do. And the game can tell you if you've been super naughty or super good or whatever. But even, even then, it's not perfect, obviously. It's so arbitrary. Like, you can kill seven kids. You can kill seven women and still be on good whatever. It's like, in what world is that good? Oh, if you killed eight, you would be high chaos. I, I don't remember the values. Sorry, someone else actually calculated the, the dissonant one, uh, the values of, of chaos. I don't know if uh, the chaos values of the second game are on the wiki or something. Yeah, it can also be reversed. It can be, yeah, which is pretty funny. I understand reversing it. Oh my God, itchy nose. I can understand reversing it over years, but like over fucking days in the game. That's pretty funny. I'm sorry I was such an asshole and literally killed 47 people in the first mission. Uh, but, uh... Here, I'm better now. I promise I did one side quest from Indy where I stole a fucking corpse. Character disposition is where you see the most change. Yeah, that, that is certainly the, 
the biggest one. How how the other characters treat you. And it makes sense, right? Like that's that's great. I mean, uh, I didn't ever finish my casual playthrough of Dissident One because when I got to the last mission, Samuel fucking said that I was a horrible person and like called the like he he like does a flare because I had high chaos because of course my first playthrough I wasn't going around stealthing shit. I was really bored of the game, and uh, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? You did this to me, and then I shot him, and I was like, oh, the gate is no game over. I thought it was gonna be game over if you kill Samuel. Um, and then I just didn't finish the game. I mean, I didn't know it was the last mission. How the fuck would I know it was the actual last mission? If I knew then that it was the actual, actual last mission, I would have maybe finished it, but I didn't even bother Googling, like, how long is Dishonored 1? Emily will go for Build My Castle's Bone. We just saved Stilton. Yeah, it's pretty fucking funny. What gets me in games are always lit torches in ancient unexplored ruins. Yeah. Or like a candle that you know, you look at the fucking candle, and even if you don't know much about candles, you know that it has like a lit, it can be lit for maybe fucking two to four hours, like small fucking piece of shit. You're telling me that any time during this hundred hour gameplay playthrough, where it goes months of fucking playtime, and, you know, months of playtime in, in game world time, and, and it's just there, lit. You can never play Hot Chaos DH because you feel too sad about characters. Oh, damn. I mean, it could be fun. Who knows? I don't know. I haven't even tried it. But that, that is one of the funny things, Strelik. That is true. Every fucking time. House elves working slave shifts. Yeah, but like a fucking tomb. That's like closed off and you have to like blow yourself into or something and then you have like light there it's like brother come on much better if the game provides you with a light source and then you know blah blah but it's it's tougher to do lusty argonian oh dude we could make that an incentive i have to read lusty argonian maid on stream there's nothing horribly bad in it right i think it's just funny. I would have to, uh, yeah, I think I would just have to proofread it first. Yeah, it's just super suggestive. We could do it in ASMR. No, we wouldn't. Espe not with this mic, especially. Uh, we oh, I have to get Yeti again. I don't want that. How could you have empathy? Still hang around the internet. No, everybody goes fucking lively to see people die. No, that's cool. That's really nice. That that just means you really get into the game. Because, like, let's be honest. If everybody got into the fucking game, you would feel like shit for, you know, killing people. I, I can't. Have you played Prey? Don't say I got bored. I've speedrun Prey from day one. X. Yeah, I have. I finished it. And yes, I got bored. Do you know why? Because I was stuck... I got stuck twice, and I don't enjoy the magic system in Prey, and I was literally just brute forcing the game through with the shotgun. And if you played Prey, you know the game isn't meant to be brute forced with shotgun. So my gameplay loop ended up being me collecting materials to make shotgun shells. And that's... I, I, it, it, I didn't say it's a bad game or anything. I just figured that it's not for me. I don't like immersive sims, casually. It's just not for me. Yeah, Prey's shotgun is really good. It was really satisfying to use. Sadly, your inventory space and the game doesn't really... If you kill everything with the shotgun, you don't use the supernatural powers at all. You're going to run out of shells pretty fucking quickly. And I was enjoying... I mean, I played through the game in like two days. That's actually where Silver Firestorm from the stream uh, made his first proper chat comments because he was reading a play th walkthrough from a German magazine and translating it to me on chat because I got stuck in one of the outsider, uh, outside areas because I couldn't find what the fuck to do and I was super tired. It was late in the stream already. So he was here helping me. Yeah, so he's been here since 2017, right? I mean, he's been here since 2016, but that's like the first proper interaction I remember. We did talk before, but that was the first proper interaction. It's like I remember Bjorni. He DM'd me a, a, a code for Friday the 13th. Um, uh, like beta. 
because he saw me on stream that I couldn't get one. And he was like, hey, yo, if you want one, I, I got this. You can play it. I was like, yo, that's cool. Thank you. This was like before he even speed ran the game, I think. And then, uh, then I played it and I couldn't play it much because the FOV was so fucking dog shit. One, two, three. Let's see how this goes. We have Winslow, War Metal, Finch, Ring. Winslow, War Metal, Finch, Ring. We have Marcola, Diamond, Conti, Bird, Conti, Bird. Marcola, Diamond leaves us with Nazios, Snuffed in. That's really okay, decent. I remember these sort of things are like 2016, 17, and 18 and stuff. Whew. It wasn't amazing, chat, but it was good. It was fine. It was fine enough. My grandmother had wheels. We're still on recce pace, but remember, after this, we have like nine seconds here, but after this is done, we have no time save anymore, pretty much. Like, whatever time save we get from a mission seven is going to be the last time save we most likely see. Because mission eight and nine were gold. And I was saying like, oh my god, they're perfect golds, but I'm saying it's really fucking tough to break a gold like that as a late game. Let's do this uh, thing. Uh, where's the orange? Wait, hello? Where's orange? Oh, it's there. Then we have red. That set up that one. We have this thing. And then uh, we have this very easy thing. Uh, oh, that's very easy. Clap. Oh no, look at what it is. It's a V-perm. Uh, dude, dude, now I'm, I'm getting a brain fart. No, I fucked it up. I cocked it up, chat. No. I, I showed it to you and then I fucked it up. Uh, well, it's fine. We'll just rebuild. Uh, did you add the bald command to your stream? How dare you? I, I invented a fun game and I it would it would have actually made for a funny... East, uh, April Fool's video where we would be IRL streaming and we would roll the exc exclamation mark bald and whichever gets a worse roll has to be shaven bald. <laughs> That's the worst game I've ever fucking thought. <laughs> That's the actual fucking worst. Worst thing. Ugh. Yeah, uh, actually, Warus's first interaction was 2015 when I started learning, when I did my first Dissonant 1 run stream. He was, like, saying, yo, I'm I'm around in, like, many chats, bro, because I'm so fucking popular, bro. But, like, if you ever need anything, you know, holler. <laughs> that's basically what he said. I could go all the way back to his chat messages, and that's what he said. <laughs> Nothing about Marlboro cigarettes. Uh, none of that bullshit. <laughs> Nothing about being bald. <laughs> oh, I remember that. I remember. Oh, we stole the Malboros. <laughs> War is like, I've come up with many good things. Like, did you know that the male G spot is approximately exactly half a Marlboro in your asshole? And because of the new non-stick coating you can shove it up your ass find your g-spot and then smoke it afterwards how fucking cool is that we're never going to be not on the marlboros this is going to fucking be cursed if if any video of mine gets steve monetized because i mentioned too many cigarette things uh then we need to stop it it's not going to get demonetized because of that we can talk marlboro like the enemy from final fantasy series it's like a big bush thing Kind of like your mom's thing. So, this is the last time save we possibly have. So, you have heard of butt chugging. Now, get ready for butt huffing. That's horrible, dude. Oh, that's, that's cringe. Uh oh, I need to stop early. Fuck. Whew. Okay, first try, please. What? Nani? Nanda kore? Okay, that's second try. It's fine. I just want to fucking save some time, bitch. Fuck, I'm gonna throw some fists here. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. It's basically because I have, like, no time save in mission 9 and 8 anymore. No, not the same mistake as last time. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm, I'm doing the exact same mistakes. Oh, that sucks ass, chat. 
You just found out your mo Oh, that's a weird way to spell Marlboro, Trapper. Mmm, tasty Marlboro. That could have been gold, chat. If my grandmother had wheels, she would have been objective. No, Jinx, but two wrecking in one stream. Both of the last splits, Sudi, were gold. I can't do a fucking single mistake or we're going to start losing time. Duke especially. If, if I fuck up in the first area at all, it's fucked. Delilah is even more fucked. So, we'll see. I kind of hope this isn't Reki. Uh, I'm only saying that because the, it, the, the commentary has been so fucking unhinged. Uh, and I already have one Reki to post today. Uh, I would just get more ad revenue if I post two videos instead. I mean, we could just postpone this video, right? And we can post this tomorrow instead. And I could say, oh man, I forgot that we got two Reki's, bro. Nicotine running through your veins. I have smoked, by the way. I smoked when I was 18 all the way to 20. So years 2008 to 2010. And then I just quit because it was social smoking, basically. And I didn't get addicted to nicotine. Feels good, man. I don't know everybody's as lucky as that, but... Luckily, back then, I didn't actually smoke Marlboro. I know. What a shame. I smoked... Uh, fuck, I don't remember what it's called, even. Can somebody name cigarette brands? Fuck. It was green. I mean, it's green. Everybody had greens. Uh, oh, man. There's only one brand. It could have been a... Maybe it was like a subsidiary of Marlboro. I don't fucking know. I don't know enough about these things. So if we don't get duked, uh, we have a, we're on a good pace. We might even gold this. But if we good, do get duked, there's a big chance that uh, big cigarette companies will take my money and run with it. We didn't get... What the fuck? Two recce pace runs and not getting duked twice in a day? What the fuck? This is where all the luck went from Corvo chat. Too much Malboro talk throw this now i'm not gonna throw it dude i get these sort of runs like fucking once every half half moon what the fuck are these splits though nah i mean we're 10 we have 10 seconds remaining basically is duke this game is like bo no boil is worse this it's literally 50 50 in this i'm not joking about the statistics it's one in three uh in dissonant one right here it's 50-50. Uh, yeah, let's just twist. It's insane that I'm getting this pace after three hours of streaming, by the way. It, it's been three hours and 20 minutes already. Which is, uh, uh, I mean, my focus pretty much like goes away after like two hours. So uh, pff, I'm, I'm super confused. I find it like way harder to focus uh, after a certain amount of time streaming. Do you even lose time? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Let's see where to go. What caused me to? What the fuck was that? Excuse me? That was me. Did did the explosion? Did did the canister hit me again or something? What? Oh, I'm sorry. That's a bit uh, unfortunate. That just cost me time for no reason. So not thrown. What the fuck? That was a throw. Myself. Um, what could it be? Like, I'm trying to think. There's no objects there. So it has to be... the. B did the fucking thing hit me mid-sentence again? Like, did it blow up? Do incendiaries stay lit on ground? No. No, they like go the uh, 0.3 seconds or so, then they blow up and then that's it. But I wasn't standing on the incendiary anyway, because you need to... I, I actually think it ran off. That's a bit of a shame, to be honest, because if this does recce, going against these splits is going to be a fucking nightmare, I'm going to tell you. But I'm not going to throw, obviously. Not on purpose. Uh, I have no fucking mana anymore, chat. What the fuck? That was cursed. Deep Marlboro dab. I... <sighs> oh. Bald Corvo again? I can't believe it. Two bald covers in a day. 
What are you doing? I can't kill him. <sighs> I can't go for triple recce. Sorry, it's so fucking late. Why is Brianna alive? She doesn't die. We just do enough damage for her. No, this isn't Brianna. This is uh, Delilah. We just do enough damage for the game to consider her dead. Like, imagine she has 100 health. We do 120 damage. Uh, but she does. She can't die. She physically cannot die in this place. Like, you saw how much damage I did. Nothing matters. Like, oh, we can actually make bald cover happen. I didn't realize that. Sorry, that was just a bit upsetting. I, I need to see exactly why. Bald Corvo again strikes back. Uh, we need to check the vault now. So thanks. Hello, YouTube. Bye-bye. 